When I was uh, a medical student, I wanted to become a psychoanalyst. Um, and in my senior year of medical school, I thought even a psychoanalyst should know something about the brain. So I went to work with a guy called Harry Grinfest uh, and worked in the laboratory for six months. And I loved it. I never had an experience like this before. It's so different to reading about science. You do it, you have a little idea, you can try it, you can talk to people about it. Brenda Milner found that deep in the temporal lobe is a structure called the hippocampus, which stores memory. <clears throat> I had learned in Grinfis lab how to put electrodes into single nerve cells. This was a difficult skill that very few people had. So I thought I would record from cells of the hippocampus and I would know how memory works. And I was the first person ever to record from cells in the hippocampus. People were astonished. We were pleased, everybody was pleased. But as we looked at the cells, we realized we didn't learn a darn thing about memory. You don't study nerve by studying, you know, one nerve cell in isolation. You have to look at a cell in the context of a behavior that is modified by learning. And that caused me to leave the hippocampus and to go to the snail. I love doing science. I get an enormous pleasure out of it. And I love collecting art. Denise and I, you know, we're academics. We don't have an income like people working for the standard have. Uh, <laughs> But, you know, if you're a you know, brain biologist and you collect, you're bound to ask the question, you know, how does the brain respond to works of art? Yeah. yeah, but again, we're very much at the beginning of this. This is very primitive. I was kicked out of Vienna. I was treated terribly my last year here. Uh, my friends didn't talk to me. Uh, we, another Jewish girl and I were the only two Jewish students in our class, were kicked out of the school. We went to a special school only for Jewish students. Uh, in the park, uh, Votif's Park, it's called. It's near Severingasse. Uh, we, uh, we, we, I was beaten up by the kids there. Uh, and Kristallnacht, um, that's when all the synagogues were turned down. Two, um, Nazis show up at our house, knock on the door, and they say, you've got 20 minutes, pack all your belongings, you have to get out of here. Um, this was November 9th. My birthday was November 7th. When I first came back, um, Vienna was boring. The intellectual life in Vienna was terrible. Um, and I didn't enjoy it very much. Uh, Denise comes from Paris, and when we visit Paris, it was much more interesting. Um, and we spent some time in Paris, so I spent a lot of time in Paris. More recently, Vienna has become extremely interesting for both of us. Denise enjoys very much coming to Vienna, and we come often.